this video we will see about photogrammetry. So photogrammetry is an advanced level of surveying. So this is being used currently nowadays. So photogrammetry simply put it is the science of measuring with photos. So what you try to do is you mount a camera on an aircraft or a drone and try to take the photo vertically like shown in this picture and from this picture you can get to know what is the scale of the photograph like here one centimeter on the photograph will mean how much on the ground if you know that you can find out like distance or even you can find angles and elevation which we will be seeing later so photogrammetry is nothing but the science of measuring with photos so that you can determine the relative position of points same as surveying here also in the end you determine the relative position of points so the advantage here is that without even setting foot on the ground you can find out the distances so that is the main advantage here so in case of difficult terrains for those conditions this will be very helpful like before laying out a highway on a difficult terrain where it is very difficult to go and survey on ground they usually do it by mounting cameras on aircrafts so this will give you an idea how the terrain is and how you can plan your highway along the terrain so mostly photogrammetry deals with aerial photos where you where you take the photos vertically like shown in the picture so apart from that you also have terrestrial photos which is used very rarely which is from the ground surface itself so here we should take care that these vertical photos when you take the axis should be as vertical as possible otherwise if it is even one degree tilted you might not get these distances accurately so the axis should be as vertical as possible any unintentional tilt even if it is a one degree tilt it will give a different distance so usually when they take these photos from a camera mounted on an aircraft like one to three degree tilt is often observed and also when they take these photographs it's like when you mount the camera on the flight it will cover a certain portion then the flight keeps on moving so it will cover one more portion and so on then it will complete one lap and then come back and cover the next set like that you can cover the whole area so this flight should be planned accordingly so as you can see from this photo you can get only 2d coordinates like in case we need 3d coordinates we try to take photos from different angles it is like how we see images from the brain like one set of view we get from our left eye and another set of view we get from our right eye so from this we are able to have a perspective vision and judge the elevations etc so similarly here also you try to take two images from a slightly different position so that will give you the 3d coordinates and this is known as stereoscopic viewing